lineup in a moment right here in the Ocean Bank batting order. A detailed look coming up in a moment. We know Kyle Segura at second, Martian center, and Maton in right. Off the end of the bat, foul, one ball, one strike. He's been uh, kept in the ballpark a little bit more often lately as he lines this one foul. For 300, and one guy hitting 273 in bone. And Schwarber, a fly ball out toward right center. Ballpark's going to hold this one. Abby puts it away. Wow. Here is Reese Hoskins taking a strike. That was the slider. Errors end up, those pitch types end up, kind of the hot spots of where those pitches end up most frequently. So that change up and that sinker ending up right around that same spot, that inside part of the plate. He can hurt that shoulder, so they've been taking their time to get him back over there. That yeah, first time that he's been back there since the end of July. Marlins have done a nice job with Bohm so far. One for seven in the series as he takes a strike going two. You're going to get guys to swing at that change up down in the zone. Hitter, I hated when we were facing those pinpoint accuracy guys who were able to do. Two balls and two strikes on Bohm. Ground ball to Anderson. And the Marlins go around the horn. A ground ball. Are off to a good start here today, guys. Well, that's the, the, the killer instinct, that look in his eye, that fire at the guy that Donnie and Mel were begging for a few years back. 97, top of the zone. To I doing that? <laughs> that's true, but, you know, you look at lineups like this. In the zone, you usually, oh, I can get guys out. But until you do it, you look at a guy like Bryce Harper and you go, I don't know about that. But then once you slow it down, you can definitely see he went past. Good now 10 for 28 a home run eight walks. So we talked as we came on the air historically it's been. The thump of the Phillies lineup that's done the damage against Sandy. In the last game he was the he got the last RBI of the three runs that he gave up in that eighth inning. Two balls and two strikes as this one is to third. Anderson takes it off to the side, fires over to first base and gets JT. 40 RBIs. He's gotten some extended playing time since the Phillies parted ways with Didi Gregorius earlier this year. Ball two. I'm getting to 200 innings entering the matchup tonight. Last year he got with uh, Braxton Garrett perhaps coming back soon. How they handle the rotation. Well there's Contra. First pitch there to Gene Segura is a strike. One starts of two earned runs or less. He does that tonight. There's a good chance he wins this ball game. Most in Marlins history. Foul back. Just outside to Segura. Not, not supposed to get a really good pitching duel. When, I, when, I, when we were playing, let's say we had Josh Johnson who was innings, no runs games to catch Dontrell Willis, who had nine back in 2005. Segura. And, and that's just because Segura just tries to just go the other way on him. He'll chop it. He will just work the app to hit it out and keep it fair. That one got. The 11th pitch of the at bat on the way and finally puts him away with the changeup. In a 3 2 count. Brandon Marsh fouls the first one back and out of play. Something you hitters always talk about. Lighter all at least 23% of the time and nothing more than 27% of the time. For Sandy, that four seam is at 31.6%. Brown ball to second. Good hop for Birdie. Yeah, those are. Then as a hitter, I have to be able to look for every single one of those. Well, Maton looking for that one. 
Goes after the first pitch fastball and hits it out. Just the 14th home run that Sandy has given up. This is outside to Schwartz. This 97 mile an hour fastball, you're letting the pitcher supply all the power. Strike outside corner to Schwartz. Gave up three homers in a game. First time since last August. And that, of course, was in Colorado. For the Phillies with the damage. Schwarber chases that change up. Beautiful night here in Philadelphia. Last time the Marlins head to the city of brotherly love for the year. They still a season series in which the Phillies have in fact won already. They lead it 10 to 5 as Reese Hoskins goes against the shift and gets the base hit. So he's two for two. But the adjustments weren't made on the hitting side of it. Players, right? Yeah. They're like all the whole, inside the top ten in batting MVP average. This one is hit to left. And it's off the wall. Hoskins held up at second. He'll get to third for Bryce Harper. Sandy and Stallings. Harper fouls that one back. Harper in the scoring position from 201 to 241. Dials up the fastball there and gets a slider a little bit more. That's where Stallings wanted it, and that's where he delivered. A big strikeout of Lee. Slow roller towards short, going to get a run home. They get the out at first base. For the moment. Inside and down to Bryson Stott, 1-0. Down and in. Stallings keeps it close. Now here's the interesting thing for the Phillies, right? Thompson has them in a playoff position trying to end a lengthy drought. Not since 2011. Three balls and no strikes. Throw goes to second. And it got Alec Bohm right in the side. Sure. Kickball rules. You're out. I'm sure the Savannah Bananas probably have a similar. Payoff pitch from Sandy. Foul back. Another 3 2 pitch. This one down the line. Fair ball. Boom scores. Up two by Lewin Diaz to be behind and make sure that that overthrow doesn't go to the wall. And now Segura down the right field. It started with a Segura little dribbler up the line. This one to second for Birdie. And the inning is over. That, just good ABs all around for the Marlins offense. And now the uh, Marlins having put four runs on the board for Sandy Alcantara. Off. Marlins are back in front. The team understands, hey, we got Sandy on the mound. Let's get him some runs. Let's get him some run support. Put him on the mound. Looking for a shutdown inning against the bottom of the Phillies order. No tapper off the bat of Marsh. Tough play. Andy throws across his body and a strike to first. We've seen it from the outfield. We've seen it from the infield. Well, he could have and should have. Yep, I said it should have had it. But back at third base for the first time since before the injury. 667 with runners in scoring position, accounting for eight of the RBIs so far. And then guys who get hot at certain points. Well, guess what? Right now it's the bottom of the lineup for the Phillies that are that's hot. Dots RBI double in the fourth. Three one pitch grounded to first. Lewin's got it. He will take it himself. Four out number to 98 and he hasn't even gotten 99 <laughs> or 100 just yet. You got to start that bat early. There's 99 right there. You got to start it. Then that 98 99 mile hour fastball. Kyle Schwarber out towards center. And Lede dropped it. Sandy having to bail out the defense here. 98 to get a swing. 0 1 pitch. Hoskins center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. 
three for three tonight for Reese Hunt. And having a good time. We're doing our broadcast from out there. Oh, I thought you were just having a good time. I know. That's why I wanted to preface that. See how good you're able to concentrate. In the center, and Blade can't get there. It gets to the wall. That'll score one. That will score two. Boehm is on his. Bryce Harper, who struck out twice. It's never easy to end those skids. That one taken low to even the count. Back in June of 2011. Ooh. Outside. And the tenth pitch. Since that error in center is the one that ends the inning, but the damage done. He's on the right track. Hopefully, guys, we'll see him here soon. Yeah, the Marlins have a doubleheader coming up on Monday against the Texas. JT Real Muto to lead things off and a chopper toward third, but foul. All that hard work that he put in in the offseason, especially on that slider and getting that pitch across. It. JT 0 for 2 but has an RBI ground out waiting on an 0-2 pitch and 98 miles an hour top of the zone. Not really much for him. He's in the he can throw in the 110 115 area. Stott. One of the seven strikeout victims. But also one of the big hits in this ballgame RBI double in the third. Phillies answered with one and then two in the fourth. Ground ball up the middle of base hit. Marlins will run top five. Philly's got the two. Runner goes. Foul back and out of play. 0 and 1. Up the middle. Birdie right to the bag. Turns the double play. 